Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we are going to be talking about the new collection by Lorac. So if you don't know, Lorac has just launched a new collection and it is their Pirates of the Caribbean collection. So I do have a few pieces from the collection that they were so kind enough to send me. So this collection comes with an eyeshadow palette, a cheek palette, and also lip cream duos. Now I did get the eyeshadow palette, which is right here. I also got the cheek palette and they also sent me two of their lip cream duos. Now let's start off with the eyeshadow palette. So with the eyeshadow palette, you are getting 18 brand new shades and this is what the palette looks like. I also have some close-ups for you guys, but you are getting 18 different shades. If you can see it, I know the reflection is everywhere right now, but this is what the inside of the palette looks like. And it also includes a little black eyeliner right here, which I'll take out. So this is the little black eyeliner that it comes with. You also get a mirror with this palette. And what's cool about this palette is it comes with a little pocket so you can actually slip in the cheek palette inside this palette. So if you're wanting to travel with it, I thought that was pretty pretty cool how they have a little insert inside the eyeshadow palette and then you also get the cheek palette now the cheek palette has six different shades from their color source blush and also their light source illuminating highlighter so you are getting six different shades and the cheek palette and then I also got two of their lip cream duos now what's really cool about these is one side is a lipstick and the other side is the lip gloss so i thought that was super neat and what i also like about this is it comes with a little mirror so you have your little mirror right there so if you want to just throw it in your purse and you'll have your mirror on the go with you so i like that about these um so with these i got the shade trident which is a beautiful like a peachy nude shade and the other one is in the shade bar bossy i think i said it right but that's the one that i have on right now and i'll show you guys how i created this look at the very end of this video so make sure you stay tuned to that um so let's go ahead and jump into the swatches we're gonna start off with the eyeshadow palette and as I mentioned you are getting 18 different shades in this palette I noticed with some of the shadows when I swatched them they were pretty chalky um, the metallic shades were very very creamy very smooth but some of them like the um, lighter shades they went on my skin pretty chalky but other than that I love the color selection I can honestly say that when I first saw this I wasn't sure you know if I would like it or not because I felt like I couldn't really do much with the colors in this palette but when I started using it for this tutorial I was you know I was kind of like okay well this color looks good with this so I do like the look that I created I was I was I was winging it you guys like I didn't know what I was going to create I didn't know what kind of look I was going for so I basically just winged this whole entire tutorial but I do like the end product I feel like if they placed some of the colors in this palette differently like go um, like start off with the lighter shades and then kind of lean towards the darker shades then I would probably get a better idea of what look I could go for but how they place the colors in this palette I was kind of confused on what to do what colors to use and so on but I love most of the colors in here it's just that the lighter ones are definitely not gonna work for me because they were so so patchy um, now moving on to the cheek palette you are getting six different shades in the cheek palette um, the shade Star Reader is what I have on my cheeks right now as a highlight. But I feel like I can only get, um, you know, I can only get so much use out of it. And I feel like the only shades that would definitely work for me are the highlighters in this palette. Definitely not the, um, the blush. All right, moving on to the lip cream duos. Again, I do only have two of these. One shade is in the shade Trident and the other one is in the shade Bar Bossy. I have Bar, did I say it right? Bar Bossy? Bar Bossy? Bar Bossy. I don't know. But I have Bar Bossy on my lips right now. I have the lipstick and I also have the lip gloss. So I did pair these two together so you guys can see 
um, what they look like paired. And this is just a beautiful mauve nude shade. I do love this color. I feel like I can definitely wear this color every day. I could wear it to work. Um, it's not too bright. It's not too dark. It's just a perfect, perfect nude. And then the next one is called Trident. And this is a lighter nude. I feel like with this one, I would probably have to wear a brown lip liner because it is pretty light on me. Um, and then the gloss in it is super, super gorgeous. I like how they added the gloss with the lipstick. Like I like how they included both of them together. That is definitely different. So I do like that and they both pair perfectly. Everything in the collection I'll have down below in my description if you are interested in checking it out. It is available starting midnight tonight. I think I'm gonna have the video up before midnight, uh, before the 14th. But it is available to purchase on the 14th at midnight. All right, so what would I rate this collection? I would probably rate it a seven out of 10, maybe six, uh, six and a half out of 10. Yeah, I'll rate it as that because um, the cheek palette, I felt like most of the colors in that palette does not work for me. They were so light. Um, the blush, the only blush in the palette was way too light for me. There were only two highlighters in that palette that I absolutely loved. The other ones were way too light. So the cheek palette was, it didn't really wow me. And the eyeshadow palette, I, I'm really picky with my eyeshadows. Um, I do love Lorac shadows. They are some of the best shadows. I don't know, maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm just not as creative when it comes to trying to figure out what look to go for. But I was, I don't know, I was kind of confused with what look to go for. So, um, but the colors in there, especially this red color, it is gorgeous. And the blue, I love, love the pop of blue. I felt like the red and the blue, like those were the staple colors in this palette and also the green. But other than that, I really like how creative they were with this palette. And the fact that it comes with a little insert where you can put your cheek palette in here, that's, that's pretty neat. I like that. So, yes love 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 that so yeah when i would give this whole entire collection a six and a half seven out of ten um if they included more darker shades in the cheek palette it would probably be a eight and a half out of ten so right now we're gonna go ahead and jump into the mini tutorial that i created with this collection so if you're interested in seeing it then keep on watching Okay, starting off with the crease color, we're gonna go into Tell No Tells, and this is just like a gray, mauve tone. And I'm using my Sigma E38. This is a diffused crease brush to blend out my crease. Now we're gonna go into Cursed, and this is a really dark black with gold glitter. I'm actually gonna take the clear seal that was in one of the palettes and just place it over um, my face and just place it over my face so that product won't get on my makeup and ruin my masterpiece. Now we're going to go in with the shade Treasure and we're using a Sigma E32 brush and I'm just going to place this color all over my lid. Now I'm just going to take a little bit of the shade Menace and tap it on my Sigma E70 and this is a medium angled shading brush. With this I'm just going to drag it in my crease just so I can blend the red and the black together. Now I'm going to pick up my Sigma E38 and go back into the crease and kind of buff everything together so that it can look more seamless. And for the inner corner of my eyes, I'm going to take the shade Starry Night, and this is just a beautiful bright blue. So I wanted this look to be more fun, more colorful, so I wanted to take this and kind of experiment with the color. I think I like it. It came out really pretty. Okay, and I'm going to add a little bit of glitter on my eyes because I feel like this look needs a little bit of you know just some oomph to this look so I wanted to add some glitter and the glitter I'm using is my Urban Decay Heavy Metal and this is in the shade Midnight Cowboy. Now that my lashes and my mascara are on we're gonna go in with the cheek palette and take the shade Caribbean and I did notice with this blush is a little bit too light for me but I just want you guys to see how it looks on darker skin but yeah it's a little bit too light 
Okay, so for the highlighter, we're gonna go ahead and take the shade Star Reader, and this is a gold color, and I thought this will be the best one out of this palette that will actually work well on my skin tone. And the brush that I'm using to apply my highlighter is the Sigma F03, and this is a high cheekbone highlighter. All right, so as you can see, the blush didn't work too well, and the highlighter is okay. It just kind of makes my face look a little ashy, but we're gonna we're gonna make it work. So for the lipstick and the lip gloss, I'm gonna be taking a bar bossy, and this is a really really pretty mauvey nude. So we're gonna see how this works. Now we're gonna go over it with a little bit of the lip gloss. All right, and this is the completed look. But yeah, I think that is everything I have for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoyed my little mini makeup tutorial and the swatches and all of that. Um, I think that's everything, you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're not subscribed to my channel, don't forget to subscribe before you leave. Be sure to give this video a huge thumbs up as well. And also, make sure you click that bell on the right side of the subscribe button because what that is going to do is notify you every time I upload a video. And I don't want you guys to miss out on any of my uploads. Um, uh, yeah, I think that is everything I have for you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.